Okay, so I just tried going live and it did not work out too well. So, hi. Sorry that the quality is so shitty. Sorry that the lighting is so shitty. Sorry that everything is so shitty. But I'm filming on a laptop right now. And, yeah, that's what's happening. I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyes. I wasn't going to do that off camera. But it ended up happening. Yeah, we're going to sit you here. It ended up happening that way because... I accidentally went off offline. My wife, I gave up. So, yeah. I did my eyebrows with the Milani Stay Put Brow Color Pomade in Natural Taupe with their eyebrow brush as well that comes with it. And then I primed my eyes with the Revital Lift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoothener in Original Primer by L'Oreal. And I'm actually going to do that again just by taking this little amount. It is quite an oily primer. It feels a little silicone based, but I don't think it actually is. When I do this, I really shouldn't have taken it over my actual eyelids again. But I'm going to anyways. But I do this the second layer because I think it really helps with how the concealer and everything sits and how the um the eyeshadow sits and everything, so and it looks a lot better in a cleanup job. I already have it like underneath all year. So it's just kind of like making a little eye mask here. Okay. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Um, so next day's concealer. I'm not gonna use the usual concealer that I use. I'm going to be using kind of like a it comes in this little like eyeshadow palette. This is the NYC Individual Eyes palette in Smoky Blues. And I don't know why it's called Smoky Blues because if you look at the actual palette, sorry, that's a bit messy, but this one's kind of like a shimmery highlighting shade. I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah. And then this one's just kind of like an, a generic concealer which happens to be in my shade luckily so I'm going to be taking a wet and wild foundation brush I think is what I'm going to take yeah it doesn't have it on there anymore but it is a wet and wild foundation brush it's dirty by the way so I'm just going to put that out there um I'm actually going to take a drop or two of coconut oil. This is by Via Natural. It's ultra care. And I use their argan oil, all that stuff. Their um, tea tree oil, everything. And it's really amazing because it's also a dollar for 1.5 fluid ounces. I think that's really cool. And I just put like a drop of it in the pan and take the brush and I start just kind of Swing it back and forth, making little circular motions as well. Try not to destroy the pan too much, but picking up quite a little bit of product without getting too much oil. And I actually think that one or two drops was too much, but I make sure to like coat the brush pretty well. And I'm just gonna use this smear out of this palette. And I, I'm going to start at the top of my brows and clean it up. So, I actually wanted Drew to be in this video with me. But it's in the thumbnail and you can see it on my finger. So, we're engaged. And we were originally going to do this video together, but I really wanted to do it today. And I asked him if he would do it with me today. Since we have the ring and everything, and he said, okay, we ordered a ring off we wish. And we wanted to see how it showed up as well. But he wanted to wait for that. And if he wants me to, I will take down this video. Because I want to do this the way that we both want to. But I'm just doing the, like, typical. Yeah. And then I'm also putting it on to my eyelids. And then my inner corner. Anyways, 
Um, I want to do this the way that we both want to, but since we already have a wedding website and a wedding registry, it's already announced on Facebook and everything, on you now, everything, which I live stream every day, um, I just really wanted to go ahead and put it out on here. I'm going to take this beauty blender and blend it out a bit, and actually this concealer blends out amazingly. I used to think it was really dry, and that's why I put in the coconut oil. And with the coconut oil, it's kind of amazing. And with the two layers of the primer, it looks pretty seamless. I'm sorry that it's not like good lighting and you can't really tell, but I promise I will use it in other videos and show you guys how amazing that concealer is. Okay. Anyways, um, NYC, pretty good. Not bad. Anyways. I'm now going to, well, I think I might want to, like, layer on a bit more concealer onto my eyelids. Yeah. I'm going to layer on a bit more using the same brush. I'm going to pick up some more product. And I think I might want to use a different concealer for my eyelid, like a heavier coverage concealer. Don't get it in your eye because the shit burns. I usually use like my finger to blend out my eyelid concealer, but this is working pretty well and it does not seem to be creasing like at all. But so far, it is kind of like sliding around on my eyelid, and I think that's because of the, the oil adding in with the primer, but if I blend it in and press it in just a little bit, it actually sets in. Okay. Um, okay, so next I'm going to be taking this palette right here. Everyone has it, everyone knows it. It's the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And I'm going to be taking this brush, which I don't know who it's by, to be honest, but it's kind of just like a little, kind of a fluffy packing brush. Anyways, I'm picking up some of the banana powder. And setting my eyelid with that, my whole lid everywhere. Oh, that is a little bit darker than the concealer. I don't think you can see that at all, but it is just a little bit darker, which is okay. I would just like to point out that it's 8.33 in the fucking morning, and we're aiming for 30 hours of no sleep. I'm going to take it right here just a little bit. Okay. And that is all set. Usually right now I would be done because I haven't been doing that much makeup. Um, I haven't been wearing makeup at all. And whenever I do wear makeup, like my once a week or twice a week makeup, it's um, very minimal. I would be done right now. Um, I wouldn't even have done this much. So now I'm actually going to do eyeshadow and stuff. Stuff of that sort. I'm going to be taking the It Cosmetics Airbrush Crease Brush. I got this from Ulta for about $14, I think. I'm not sure. Hi. I didn't actually think anybody would be watching right now. This was just supposed to be a live stream that I was going to post because for some reason it refuses to um, upload or record from the laptop. Anyways, I'm going to take the... LA Colors Natural, sorry, the, the name is kind of like worn away, but it's the Natural Bright and Flirty palette. I used to use this a shit ton. I don't know if you can tell, but that used to be my eyebrow, my eyebrow shade, and then I moved down to this one. I don't know how I went from that one to that one, but I did. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm taking this number two in Natural. 
I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. Anyways, um, actually, I don't think it's gonna be dark enough or like nearly orange enough. It might be. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, um, so as I was saying, we were wanting to do a video together where we like explained, you know, why we're doing this right now, you know, how it happened. We were gonna tell the story of like how we started dating and like tell explain why I've been gone for so long and all that stuff but I'll explain to you right now why I've been gone for so long um we were supposed to come back on November 13th which is our anniversary and but November 13th something happened and um yeah so since I've been gone I thank you since I've been gone I've gotten engaged started school um, I live stream on you now every day and broadcast. I quit my job. I moved. Like, to a different city. Moved. Not just, like, next apartment complex moved. But, yeah, to a different city moved. And then, yeah. And my wedding's in November. That's, that's about all, pretty much. Me and Loki stopped being friends for a little while. Well, I don't want to say that we stopped being friends, but we stopped keeping contact. This shade's actually working out well, by the way. I got engaged November 13th. We had been talking about getting married for a little while, knowing that, like, we both wanted to get married. And I'll tell a story about that. Well, I guess I might as well tell it now. Um, the first day that my great-grandmother met my great-grandfather, it was on a blind date, and they... He told her that he was going to marry her one day, and she pretty much said that, well, why not waste any time? And they went and got married. And then whenever my grandfather met my grandmother, he, the like, pretty much as soon as he met her, through her cousin, I think, which was his friend, he said that she he was going to marry her one day. And she told him that he was crazy. And they've been married for 40 years on our anniversary, actually. Well, April 13th, which is our one-year, five-month anniversary. I don't think, I think we're just going to go, like, on a picnic, because we usually don't celebrate the months, we just kind of tell each other, hey, like, another month, cool. We usually only celebrate, like, the half year, sometimes we'll celebrate the, the eight month, and then, yeah, but anyways, if we're able to celebrate it, we'll, we'll find an excuse to do something, but, anyways, um, but on our first anniversary we went to all these places, but we went to Lincoln Square in Arlington, which is where we lived at the time, and during, I guess, lunch through dinner, because we were there for a long time, um, we were talking about it again, and then we went to Half Price Books, which is, like, one of my favorite places on the planet. I love books, and I love Half Price Books. It is amazing. But anyways, I mean, they allow animals in there. It's free coffee. It's books everywhere. I mean, it's my place. There's stuffed animals everywhere. There's, it's, it's, it's my place. Anyways, um, yeah. So we started talking about it. And, like, it was probably the one, one of the most, like, in-depth conversations we had had about it at that point. And we were actually being serious about it. I didn't finish what I was telling you about my grandparents. Anyways, that happened with them, and then whenever I first met him, the first day that we started dating, he told me he was he was going to spend the rest of his life with me, and he wanted to marry me. So I thought, oh, fuck. And so, yeah. So now we're getting married. Um, yeah. So I don't really know what else to say about it. Whenever we were at Half Price Books, we got more in-depth of talking about it, and then... He asked me if I actually wanted to, like, do it sooner, and then we kind of put it off a little bit. I mean, we bought some books about wedding planning and stuff, just in case we decided to go through with it and just to, like, know what we were doing. And then we got home that night, and we started talking about how we wanted it to be after we were 21, and here I am, 16, getting married this year. Um, we started talking about how we wanted it to be after 21, so we're getting married on our anniversary the day that we started dating 
Hi, Pip. So, yeah, it's November 13th, 2018 is our anniversary date. And you guys, I haven't done makeup in a little while. I tried doing it the other day, but it was something like so simple. And actually, after turning off the camera, I was live streaming it. After turning off the camera, I just took it all off and I was done. Like, I did not want to do it anymore. I just kind of found an excuse to turn off the camera. I'm taking it onto my lower lash line still as a transition shade. But anyways, now that, you know, we are, he's 17 now and I'm 16. I turned 17 12 days before our wedding and we're going to be having it at the church that I grew up at. And the preacher that I grew up listening to, even though neither of us are religious, um, it still means a lot. And I'm a, still a member, so I get the venue for free. We originally want to go with Willow Creek, but we don't have, like, $5,000 to build a fucking wedding venue. So we can't have that. And we're going to get, like, dollar store flowers and shit and figure it out. We're, we're going to figure it out. So, like, dollar store wedding planning. I should make that a fucking series. If you guys want to see a series, I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm joking, but <laughs> I always say I'm joking, and then you guys actually get into it, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, it's a series. This one needs more on the lash line. I'm not overdoing it on the lash line. Not that anybody's actually fucking copying this look or anything, or following along or whatever and these shadows do have the tiniest bit of fallout but also it is a two dollar palette that comes with like mascara and lashes and this and that and it came with a really amazing brush right here and it it's a pretty awesome palette you know because like how many things it has 12 12 shadows so yeah I'm also going to be using this palette, mainly just for this color. The, this color is what the whole look is based off of, because this is one of my wedding colors. So, And this is also one of my wedding colors, so it's a thing. Um, yeah, so I'm putting this brush away for now. Anyways, after adding in the transition color, I think I'm going to pull out this palette, which is the Get the Look palette. Nobody knows what this is from. I got this at DD's. Dee for five dollars it has 30 eyeshadows five lip colors one blush one bronzer one highlighter they're all blushes um an eyeliner pencil a blush brush a lip brush and an eyeshadow applicator i have no idea where the brushes went or the eyeliner actually it might be in there with my stuff but the the brushes are gone like there's <laughs> they were thrown away <laughs> Anyways, the eyeshadows are really amazing, and they're really pigmented, and I love them. And the these two shades right here, they're, like, really shimmery light. They're pretty much the same fucking shade. This one's a bit more, like, rose gold, and this one's a bit more, like, white, yellow gold, if you know what I mean. Um, they're really good highlighters. That's what I'm getting at. Anyways, I'm going to take a little bit of, I think, this shade right here is kind of like a brown pinkish. And... I do want to use a fluffy, like, blending brush, but I want something that's a bit more fluffy in this. I'm actually going to take my whole brush bag out. Oh, cool. You know that moment when your fucking setting spray leaks all throughout your fucking bag? Because me too. Anyways, I'm going to look for a brush that is better. Hmm. Anyways, how have you guys been? I never asked you guys that. And I feel like I really should start asking you guys that, but most of you guys don't answer anyways, so, you know. If you want to answer how you've been and update me on your life, and are you going to wear makeup at your wedding? If so, what look are you going for? I am going to wear makeup at my wedding. I know that for a fact. But and I'm going to use this brush, by the way. But I don't know what look I'm going to go for. I'm going to try and go for something more natural, though. 
And I've had a few people ask, like, why I'm not going to use that. I'm going to continue using this um, mirror. But I've had a few people ask, like, what hair color I want. I'm going back to blonde for my wedding. But as far as the makeup look, I have no fucking clue. No idea whatsoever. That looks a lot more pink than I want it to. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm going to switch to this, like, little, this little brush, like, right here. I know it's not what you would want to blend, but it's something. I'm going to pick up a little bit of product and see how that works. I'm kind of putting that in my outer corner and in my crease and blending that in. And I like it because it does kind of a little bit of a messy job as long as I'm staying in where I put all of that um, transition shade in, then I'm good. And I would like to focus it a little bit directly in that crease line to add some dimension. So, and then I'm going to add it a little bit more towards my inner corner. We're going for more of a grungy look as well, which is, an, I'm either going to go for like a really natural, like peachy look for my wedding, or I'm going to go for something that's like full on glam. But I feel like I go full on glam a lot and I don't want to do that. And so I am wanting to go for something that is a little grunge, but not something that is so grunge. I mean, also we're planning on dancing and all this stuff. And I don't want it to be something that, like, as we're leaving the wedding, you know, I'm, you ever follow makeup looks? Do you, or do you make up your own? I make up my own. I feel like every time I, I've tried. Actually, you know what? No, no, I haven't. I've never tried. That's a lie. I tried to follow one makeup look. And she had a makeup tutorial for the look, but I never followed it. She said, like, I remember starting on the video, and she's like, if you want to get this look, I have a separate video. I'm like, I'm not going to go watch that. I'm going to remember this look later and try to do it, and I'm going to fail. And I'm not going to remember your name to come back to your channel. And I was right. I don't remember her name. I've never remembered her name. I think it was, like, Erica something, but I'm, I'm, I'm never, never going to see her channel again, most likely. So taking the airbrush crease brush and blending those colors together just a bit more. And kind of blending out here a bit better. Picking up a bit more of that product and yeah. I actually for a little while was doing nails and stuff and people's makeup for their own weddings and stuff. I still do nails, but I don't really do makeup anymore. The only reason I would do somebody's makeup is for, like, a YouTube video or something for a collab. But I still do nails. Um, I'm taking a bit of this, like, light cream shade right here and blending it on the outer edges of the eyeshadow to kind of um, lighten it up a bit and to help out with blending. So now it looks just a bit more grungy and better like a lot more well blended so yeah um taking the same one taking this darker like purple red which is why i got this palette anyways drew actually got it for me taking it very defined starting from right here and just adding it straight into that crease line and anyways um I got it because of that specific shade, because of this certain palette, and I now that I, like, have this, and I don't want the palette anymore, I can't remember what it's called, but it has, like, maroon shades and gold shades, and everyone has it, and I never got it, and I, because it's, like, a $45 fucking palette, and I don't have that kind of money to spend on a fucking palette, and so, I'm just kind of going like this. Just smoke out the crease line a little bit, but still keeping it defined. You can see that. I don't think you can, but same thing to the other one. 
And like I said, this video is not going to be like edited at all because of, you know, it's a live stream. But, but yeah, we actually have a wedding website and we have wedding registries for Amazon, a certain honeymoon site where you can donate to our honeymoon and for Target. So if you go on and you look up Mitchell May Wedding Day, which you go on to my Facebook, I have those links up there. I kind of messed up a little bit, so I'm going to take the same brush and blend it out a bit better because it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, and I'm kind of upset about that. Um, actually, you know what? It looks better this way. But So if you wanted to donate towards our honeymoon or... I'm smoking this into the lid, by the way. Yeah. But if you wanted to donate towards the honeymoon or get us a wedding gift or anything, then we have sites and there's a cat screaming and registries. So if you wanted to specifically, you know, go look at those, then we have them. Hi, Pip. Hi, Mia. Oh, no. no, she's not there. There's Pib, though, attacking Mia. Hey. Okay, she's gonna run for me. Anyways, did you move apartments? I moved apartments, like, a year and a half ago to a, the next apartment complex. And then, which I think I took you over there. But now I live in White Settlement, Texas, which is in Fort Worth. So I don't live in that area anymore at all. But I still do come and visit. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be there Monday and Tuesday. So if you look outside and everything, I'm most likely I'm going to be there with my fiance. Anyways. Um, yeah. I'm going to take this wet and wild brush right here and just kind of like dust away all the fallout. Yeah. Anyways. Um, now I'm going to take... There's cat hair like everywhere. I'm going to take that same, no I'm not, I'm going to take this blue LA Colors Concealer Lip Brush, it's a dollar, they have it in pink, blue, and purple, I have the purple one right here, but I kind of already had a pink one and a black one, but well now I don't, so I, I kind of do want to go get the pink one, because I use this one for my lips, and this one for concealer, and I'm wanting one to use as another packing brush, but I'm gonna close this up for now. But I remember the look that I had tried to follow. It was like just a regular nude eye and then she had a blue inner corner and I thought that was so cool. It was the first time I'd ever seen anything like that. I'm looking for my NYX palette right now. And not NYX palette, what the hell am I talking about? My NYC palette right now and I cannot find it. I'm seriously having, like, a lot of trouble finding this fucking palette. I have my LA Colors one and my... I don't know who this is by. I think it's by Hard Candy. But I don't want to say that because I don't want to get them, give them credit for a product if it's not theirs. Um, where the fuck did that palette go? You guys, I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm cussing a lot still. Like, that's still a thing that happens. So anybody that still has an issue with it, then why are you back? I cannot find this palette. I'm... I don't know what I'm gonna do. My palette's gone. And I found the water bottle, though. And the lid's off of it. Which is awesome. So. Um... Don't you just love cats? You married the guy you were dating when you lived here? Uh, yes. I wouldn't marry a guy that I've only been dating for like three months, first off. And second off, that just hit my elbow. This video is taking a turn for the worst. Because now I've got to fix a fucking spray bottle. And cats piss me off. And I've lost my palette. Like, no fucking clue where it is. And there's water everywhere. Yes, we have been together for about a year and a half right now, and yeah, so 
May 13th, we'll be together for a year and six months. November 13th, which is our wedding day, we'll be together for two years. Originally, it was November 19th. I just lost the pink fucking palette. No, I didn't. It's right here. Anyways, originally, it was going to be November November 13th, 2019. But we decided to do it earlier because, for one, we got permission from my grandfather and our parents and everything. And then for two, I mean, we still have to get permission from the court, obviously. And if they say no, then yeah, we're going to have to wait another year. I cannot find this palette. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah. You guys, this palette's fucking gone. It's gone. It's in my makeup box. I'm smart, doy. Um, anyways, I'm using the same concealer shade right here. If you missed it, then just go back, watch the video later. Um, taking it on the brush. It still has, well, it doesn't have any of the oil anymore in it, but it's still, well, I guess a small layer. But it's still the same consistency and texture. And I'm just putting that on my lid. Yeah, I really do feel like I need a more full coverage one. Excuse me. Yep, November 13, 2018. My phone's going off. I think that's my mother texting me. We've been texting all morning. Since like 5 o'clock in the morning. My little sister Zelda is sick. So if you guys would give her like get well soon cards and like good wishes that would be amazing because she hasn't been this sick in a long time and they're thinking about taking her to the hospital and she's only two and that makes me really sad um and the last time I asked people to make like get well soon cards for her every like we had a good like 200 show up at our door some of them were put in the mailbox everything some people from just like did you know that 94, I think, no, it was 98.4% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Why aren't you subscribed? Why are you coming back and watching my videos and you're not subscribed? Because it says, like, a lot of them um, return at least over 20 times. So you guys are just looking at my name. And I'm guessing most of you guys are just family and just keep looking at my name and haven't figured out how to su subscribe or anything, which some of you guys, I'm kind of happy you haven't figured that out yet. But you guys are going to be like, oh, you're shit-talking seniors or you're shit-talking your family. And no, I'm not. I'm just, well, I mean, I'm shit-talking my family, but you can't get on me for that. Anyways, um, after doing that, I'm taking my airbrush crease brush, airbrushed, airbrush crease brush, and I'm cleaning that up because it decided that it was gonna go up to my fucking eyebrow. And a lot of people usually clean this up whenever they're done, but I don't because it bothers me. And then also me knowing me, I usually go in with it all over where I put concealer, and if I do that. I'm dropping palettes. But if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to blend it in and fix it. Going in with this this color right here. The first one that we went in with out of this palette. Yeah. Going in with that one on the edges and on the top of it. If you, you like, think of a disco ball eye, okay? That's what we're doing is a disco eye. Anyways. If you don't know what that is, like, look it up. I'm, I really don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Done with both of these palettes for now. Actually, I'm going to add a bit more concealer to the center. And I've got to kind of hurry with this as well because the, the okay, dropped the palette. The concealer will dry. Remember when we would buy a type of candy? there back then yeah 
I actually, I really missed that. But after a while, they like started refusing to give me, like serve me and sell to me. I don't know why. I had a lot of parents tell me that they didn't like me though, because for one, because of my videos and I have a fucking cat on the keyboard. Can you not? You're not keyboard cat. Keyboard cat passed. Go away. Anyways, leave me alone. Go away, you guys. Anyways, um, stop licking my palettes. Stop it. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to take another Wet n Wild brush. I'm not sponsored by Wet n Wild. I wish I was. Um, I got that question the other day, if I could be sponsored by any makeup brand. And I think it would be Maybelline, to be honest. I'm taking the mint green color on a flat packing brush by Wet n Wild. And I think this is an, an eyeliner brush for them. If not, it's the same exact thing because I have their eyeliner brush. But it's pretty pigmented and I'm just going to put that on to where I put that concealer. And these colors don't exactly go together. So if you just work with me, I'll figure it out. And if not, we'll call it art, okay? But yeah, a lot of them started like refusing to serve to me. If you were sponsored, who would you want it to be? Well, like I just said, um, Maybelline, but if it's not a makeup company or brand or whatever, I don't know. Who would I want to be sponsored by? Huh. To be honest, like Demi Lovato's fitness, like her clothing fit, her fitness clothing line. Yeah, because I love Demi Lovato. She's my fucking idol. Drew loves Demi Lovato, like. We have arguments over who likes her more, who finds her more attractive. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'd probably her or same brush. Um, I'm just blending out around where I just put product. If yeah, actually, I'm going to take the concealer again and I'm going to drag it instead of just focused right there. I'm gonna drag it all around right here as well and into my inner corner, but instead of her or a makeup company, probably either Smirnoff or like a condom company or something, just because I have talked a lot about like safe sex in my videos and stuff like that, and I have made a lot of sex videos and stuff like that, and if not, Lane Bryant, because I never discovered how amazing Lane Bryant is until recently. I went there to go get new bras because I haven't had new bras in like forever and they're all like thrift store bras. But I'm a, like, I'm a G cup and I thought I like the last time I got sized was that Victoria's Secret. And they told me I was almost an I cup. So I have pretty big fucking tits. But, and I've been wanting to make a lot of videos about it. Like, I'm like, oh, hey, look at my tits. But like, struggles and stuff and like give advice to other girls or if people that just enjoy watching those kind of videos like you know perverts and stuff but you know hey views <laughs> um but yeah I've been wanting to make quite a few of those videos and just kind of talk about that stuff for a little while but I didn't really think that you guys would watch videos like that or about that like at all because also I do know that most of my viewers, as far as I know, are kind of young and don't really have big tits or anything. And don't really have any need to be watching those videos. Well, I mean, same thing with my videos about talking about, like, safe sex and stuff. But I feel like those are more educational. And those videos also help people with, like who have been through some of the stuff that I have been through, and, you know, they have somebody to relate to and can get through it, 
because some my fiancés and I watch my videos. But because they have somebody talking about it and somebody who has shared these same experiences and stuff, and I feel like that would really help somebody. But I... This is a really long video. But, you know. Anyways, as far as school and stuff goes, I'm in an online school called Penn Foster. And I'm in high school, obviously. And I'm I pay fifty dollars a month to attend this school. And so far I'm doing okay, you know. But I mean, nothing really special or, or out of the ordinary or anything going on. Have you ever been in depression or suicidal thoughts? Um, several times in my life, actually, yeah. I was hospitalized six times for it. Um, one time for a year, almost a year and a half. And during this time, I was... Anywhere from 10 to 13 years old. I'm taking that same shade that I used at first, and I'm blending it into my crease. And that's where the green and the rest of the colors are going to meet. And it's kind of making, like, this bluish purple, which is not the prettiest thing, but it's happening. So I'm just going to let it. Anyways, um, it looks a bit grungy, which is what we were going for. It was grungy yet colorful. And, yeah, I was going through a pretty hard time. I had several, like, people threaten to put me into a hospital for that, those kind of things. But never did until I moved to Arkansas. And they put me into a hospital for it. Actually, the first one I put myself into, I had a therapist, and I told her that I wanted to kill myself, and she gave me a choice to continue without treatment patient, outpatient treatment, or to become inpatient, and I decided to go with inpa inpatient, and to be honest, it really worked for me until I got back to where I was originally living, and it got worse and worse, and so I went out for a month to a place called Pinnacle Point over there in Little Rock, Arkansas, and then I came back for, I think, less than a month, and I went straight back, and I was, I was doing great while I was there, and then whenever I came back, I was there for, like, maybe a month, and then went to a place over there in Osceola, Arkansas, for almost a year and a half until I was 13 and I got out the day after my 13th birthday November 2nd and yeah I didn't go back I'm leaving a few things out like a few places that I went to I'm leaving at least two out I think but those places were not that things that I want to talk about but yeah I have I feel like everyone, well, I feel like a lot of people, most people have been there. And also, I mean, there's a difference between certain people that are just trying to get attention and other people that are actually having issues. Like, I knew this one girl, and I was friends with this one girl who you actually live next to. I'm not going to name her or anything, but me and her were, like, best friends for a little while, for at least three years. And she would call me over and tell me that she cut herself after, like, knowing that I was still cutting and stuff, knowing that I was on drugs, knowing that I was going through all of this stuff. And she called me over to have, like, she would call me crying and being like, I just got off the phone with my dad, and I need you over here. And I'd get over there, and she'd be sitting here with this little scrape on her thigh and being like, I tried to kill myself. And I'm like... If you don't succeed next time, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> like, I need, you need to know that. You need to stop coming to me about this with your attention-seeking self, because you need to stop. I mean, there are a lot of people like that who pull that shit, and I think it's so sad, and it needs to stop. I'm using the same big-ass wet and wild blush brush, 
and wiping away in my hair and my eye, but fallout. And I did help a lot of people through it and talk to a lot of people that were having the same issues that I was, and we got each other through it, but in the end, there were a lot of people who were, like, I'm still on the site called Quotev to this day. There's actually a tab open for it right now, and I had this girl come on once and was talking to me about eating disorders and everything because I had a bunch of videos about that and stuff like that, and... I was talking to her about my disorders and everything, and she was talking to me about hers, and she's like, do you want to have, like, a suicide pact and this and that, and me being, like, 13, 14, was like, fuck yeah, a friend, because I had yet to meet Loki, or actually, I knew Ethan, we were still friends, but it was during the time that, like, he was telling me that he was better than me, and, like, wouldn't talk to me, but yeah, it was before we were friends, and I was friends with him, but he didn't know who, he didn't know I existed, so that's fine, but... I'm taking that same blue concealer brush, and if I can fucking find it, the NYC palette. Where did I? I found it this time. Um, but yeah, there are some people that like. There's some people that you're gonna meet or talk to, and you're gonna know that they need help, and they actually do genuinely need help. And they're not going to want your help. And there's nothing you can do about that. And sometimes you're going to just have to let it go. And then there's other people that don't. The only help that they need is help to stop attention seeking. And trying to um, get the pity of others. And I think it's really sad that that's still a thing. All of these like anti-suicide advocates and everything and these programs and everything there's this thing going on in Dallas where they're walking and it's an overnight walk I think it's a 24-hour thing I'm not sure but with everything like that and all these people that are joining that I mean like I'm so anti-suicide and then turning around and being like well I'm not getting any attention so why not be one of the people that I'm trying to you know (sighs) (laughs) yeah I've met quite a few people whenever I went to an academy. Um, Whenever I was in the academy, I met quite a few people that would, like, have their animals scratch on them or something, and they would be clearly, like, cat scratches or something, or just animal scratches, and they would come to school and, like, purposely, like, try and show you it, and then be like, yeah, my cat got me, and then they'd look at me and be like, or, like, they'd pull me aside and be like, I'm cutting myself. And I'm like, you need to put your damn cat down. Leave her alone. Like, stop. And I got a lot of people, like, giving me shit and stuff for that. I'm like, whenever I was in drama class, there was a... I'm taking it down my nose, by the way, to conceal so that I can get my nose contour going. But there was a lot of... Obviously, you're in drama class, so there was a lot of drama... But there was a lot of girls in there that were, like, very anti-suicide and stuff. And there was, But there was this one girl in there who she just wanted their attention so badly. So she would, like, always talk about how she wanted to kill herself. And I called her out once, and I was like, you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. You just want their attention. You need to stop. And, like, got pissed off and said, I'm going to blend this out now. And she got pissed off and was like, well, you need to leave me alone. And everyone always got pissed off at me and was like, even if she's not going to do it, you know, she's still threatening it. We still have to treat it like she actually is going to. I was like, but if you know for a fact that she's just trying to get attention, then why would you? I was like, yeah, if you notice somebody and you think that they're trying to get attention, but you're not sure for certain, do not sit there and try and call them out and, like, be an asshole to them and do that. But if you know for a fact that somebody's doing this, like, to the point where you have caught them saying that they're just wanting attention, I mean, like, don't bully them and push them, especially not to the point where they would actually consider actually taking their own lives or hurting themselves. But, you know, let them know, hey, you know, what you're doing is fucked up and you need to stop because you're not making it any better for the people that actually have these feelings. And, yeah, I'm really, like, rambling right now, but after taking that, taking 
pretty much the same brush, the one that I used back on the green, but a different brush. Um, going into the same palette, but using this uh, lighter shimmery shade down here. Let's hope that it's the same, like, um, pigmentation, sorry. Um, but yeah, there have been a lot of people that, this is not showing up, like, at all. It just looks like a whole bunch of messed up fallout. Okay, we're gonna use a different shadow. <laughs> um, what do I have in here? Not something that I want to use. But, yeah, people, people suck. I'm actually going to use that same cream, like, matte shadow right here. It's not a cream shadow, but it's cream. You get what I mean. And it's cream colored. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner instead of a shimmery shade. We're going for more of a matte look. I think for eyeliner, I might go for something shimmery that are, like, lash line, but... I don't do that until I'm done with my, uh, excuse me, until I'm done with my foundation. Anyways, after doing that, I'm going to take this and wet it a bit more. And now that it is pretty much soaking, um... How old were you when you started doing your makeup, including just putting on mascara? Um, I think I was, like, four when I got my first, like, big makeup kit. And I started doing, like, drag stuff and special effects. About sixth grade, I really got into special effects and everything. I mean, I had played with it before, but I'm going to take off my ring right now so I don't mess it up or anything. But I had played with it before, but I got really, really into it whenever I was in drama class in sixth grade. <laughs> And, I mean, I messed with it a lot whenever I was in the hospital, but I would use things like mustard and, like, tissue paper and stuff like that to create that stuff. You want to watch tutorial? I learned by myself. After a little while, I didn't start watching makeup tutorials until I was, like, 14, and it was, like, right before I met my fiancé. And, yeah, I was 14. <laughs> um... But I didn't start doing that stuff, and I think, like, the first time I met him was when I really, I had, like, good eyeliner and everything. Because before then, like, if you go and you look at my makeup, I had, sorry, I feel like I'm getting sick again, but I had just the worst makeup. I would wear whatever I was in sixth grade, and I started getting a bit more into beauty makeup as well, because I, I wanted this part so badly. I was sick of being that person that was, like, in the background and all the makeup and all the hair and everything and all the costumes. And I got the lead in something, and I had to do beauty makeup for it because I was doing my makeup plus everyone else's makeup. And I got really into it and really interested into it, and I had to watch makeup tutorials for it. And after a while, I started wearing makeup to school every day, and I just started with dark blue eyeshadow, and I still have the palette. It was like a quad. And I started with that, and then just bright red lipstick, and, like, red and pink hair, <laughs> and having blonde eyelashes and everything, and just having a pale complexion at the time, I didn't tan or anything, and blonde-ass eyebrows, blonde-ass hair, eyelashes, everything, I had fallout on my lashes and everything all under my eye, and then I moved on to black and gray eyeshadow, and that's where that's when people started telling me I was, I needed help, um, but yeah, whenever I was, like, four, I would wear, like, pink and blue eyeshadow and purple lipstick and stuff like that, I was more of just, like, a lipstick girl, I would always wear lipstick, but I didn't start with mascara and stuff until I was 13, but it wasn't until I think I had left school and dropped out and started actually experiment, experimenting with it more, and I got back into YouTube again, because I've been on YouTube since I was eight, um, I'm gonna take, I'm not gonna put on my moisturizer, because it's gonna burn my skin right now, but I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, Wet n Wild are completely cruelty-free, by the way, I'm not sponsored by them, I am using a lot of the products, and you're about to notice that I use a lot of Maybelline products as well, I didn't mean to use that much primer. Anyways, I'm going to use that much. You can't see that much. 
but um and whenever i did start watching makeup tutorials this is really cool i started off watching like jacqueline hill and jeffree star was one of my first um i watched a lot of god what is her name johnny gilbert's girlfriend i think her name is alex but i'm putting it everywhere i had the other concealer as well if that makes any sense but I can't remember her exact name but she was a part of my digital escape and I've made quite a few videos on them on the collab channel I think um but I started watching hers and Johnny Gilbert and everything and I kind of went off of them and then I watched Nikki Tutorials and Jacqueline Hill and then I met Jeffree Star I didn't meet him and I know that, like, the first one I started watching, the very, very first one I watched was Graveyard Girl. And I was blown away. Okay, after using that one, and it is a bit mattifying. But, um, I love this because it is very, very moisturizing as well. Um, I'm going to be using the other primer that I'm supposed to use. Um, I do have, what is on my leg? I do have the Me Makeup Face Primer that goes with the palette that I showed you guys. This one, they go together, and then their lip gloss trio, but I think I might be doing a giveaway for this. Maybe this as well, but probably not, but I am pretty sure that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this and for a few other things. But to do the giveaway, there's going to be a few, like, guidelines and stuff. But I've only, this is almost an hour-long stream. But, um, yeah. I think I'm wanting to do a thing. By the way, this is a horrible primer. Well, in my opinion, it's a horrible primer. And I want to do a whole video on the set that I got from Me Makeup and explain all of that. But I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional Primer, and I'm going to be using that just on my nose and right here. Although my nose does already have concealer on it, I feel like adding this gives that extra barrier of, excuse me, of just covering up those pores and making it everything looks flawless and seamless. I'm really hungry. But anyways, this is all right. tell me the worst makeup products you have used, please. Um, I want to say, okay, for one, the one I'm using right now, the Benefit Professional Primer is like the most famous primer I think I've ever heard of. And I hated it at first. I was like, this is all the hype. And, yeah. But now I love it, obviously. This is probably one of the worst ones I have ever used. But I think I'm going to give it a fair shot in one of my videos and give it like a 24 or like at least an 8 hour wear and see how I feel about it. But I, I don't see my opinion on it changing. So right now it's probably one of the worst ones I've ever used. Um... What else? I can't really think of anything. I hate... Okay. I absolutely hate those, like, swirled lip glosses with the two colors and the scents. And I hate the vanilla scent and everything, unless it smells like an actual cupcake. But scents that are so strong that it gives me a headache, I can't wear it on my lips. I hate that. And um, the Me Makeup that came with the primer and the palette came with a lip gloss trio and every single one of them was like that i mean they were okay but also just these the scent and they were sticky and i liked them oh i love how i say this but i say i like them but i actually did like them and i ow that hurt i only say i liked them because i hated it less than i usually hate lip glosses like that um a lip gloss that is my favorite lip gloss but I also hate with a passion, is it's a Tarte lip gloss, and it's called Lip Surgeons or something. It's called something. 
and they're discontinued, and I got it whenever I went to go meet Graveyard Girl, and it was my first name brand, like, thing, like, high-end product, and it was a sample thing, and it came with a little uh, fake tan thing and everything, and I keep saying thing, sorry, and that's whenever I learned about tanning and stuff like that, and then I got into the world of hair extensions and shit like that, and learning about all that, and then nails and all that shit came next, but... I still own this lip gloss, and I don't use it anymore because I have very little left in it, and I want to save it, and I might wear it on my wedding day, but um, I hate it because it's so sticky, but I love it because I love the color, I love the applicator, I love the smell, but the packaging, it lasted for about, let's see, how long have I had it? Almost four to five years. 425, not 45, but almost four to five years, and then, like, it just started coming apart and, like, falling apart, and I'm so sad, but I don't, like, touch it anymore, like, it has its own space, but yeah, now that this primer is set, because I haven't stopped talking, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain, yeah, anyways, um, let me see, can I think of any other makeup that I've used that's kind of, I can tell you a brush, and I have like a love-hate relationship with this brush, and it's the Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush, and it's got this little part for it. actually, you know what, I've always hated applying foundation with a brush though, and I feel like that's not fair to this, so you know what, I'm gonna try it, and then we're gonna go over with my beauty blender because I can't fucking stand this, it's gonna be so cold, oh my god. You can't even see that, but I have hated this brush for the longest time. I don't use it because I hate applying foundation with brushes first off. I think it's so streaky, and it puts it on really thick and heavy, and I hate it, and it really shows your pores, and if the foundation is just the slightest bit off of your color, it really shows with a brush. I feel like it wipes away primer, and I hate that. And I feel like it should be stippling. Oh, that looks better. Okay, maybe you're about to see, like, my new discovery of this. But I've always hated applying foundation with a brush. Like, the first time I did it, I did it on my boyfriend, and it looked amazing. And so I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to do that on me now. <laughs> and no. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. And I love the beauty blender effect. Like, I used to apply my foundation whenever I use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation, which is, like, a, a mousse foundation. I didn't use moisturizer or anything like that. I knew nothing about makeup. Favorite part of makeup. Give me a second. I knew nothing of makeup, nothing like that. I would apply that with my fingers. And if you know that foundation, like I know that foundation, you know that it is super drying and super mattifying and so bad to use with your fingers or a brush or anything like that. And I haven't used it in so long and I don't know if it's still the same way or not. Well, I'm guessing it is, but like since my makeup techniques and everything have bettered themselves. Um, I'm putting my hand here. I'm not trying to pour it out onto my hand, but I'm putting my hand here. That way, in case it does pour out a bit too much, then I can catch it. Trying to pour out a little bit onto this brush. Okay, I've got some now. Um, yeah. My favorite part of makeup, I'd have to say that my favorite part of makeup is the application, to be honest. I feel like after I'm done applying makeup, I'm just kind of like, now what? Well, not really now what, but I love the way that it brings people together. Um, well, beauty makeup, I love the way that it brings people together. I love that I can go and watch videos and stuff about it. FX and special effects makeup, I love that it always, like, it never fails to amaze me. Never fails to amaze me. 
I'm always learning stuff from it, always learning stuff about it, and I feel like a lot of that stuff can be taken into beauty makeup as well, and I love that. Now, granted, I do feel that some people take it, like, way too far, and they need to be stopped. Like, they need to put the makeup down, but other than that, you know. Also, this foundation is amazing, if you wanted to go try it. Not sponsored by Maybelline, but I love them. I'm also going to take the beauty blender I have, by the way. This is $2 at Family Dollar, so if you want to go down there and get it, this is an amazing beauty blender. If you just wet it, it is it is amazing. I hated it the first time I used it, and now I love it. Because also, I was using the Real Techniques beauty blender whenever... I first used it, and I, yeah, I have it right here, and I have, like, five of them, but why do you need to wet a beauty blender? It, for one, it grows in size, um, so it's like a sponge, well, it is a sponge, but it grows, like, tremendously whenever you wet it, and it makes it, like, it blends out makeup a lot easier. It hydrate. I find that I have really, really dry skin, so I find that it hydrates your skin a lot better whenever you wet it, and it just works a lot better. I feel that, yeah, it does soak up just a little bit more of the product, but if you don't want that, then use the Scylla sponge. It's like $4 for an iPhone at Walmart. So, I'm waiting for LA Colors to come out with one. But, yeah. If you are interested in, like, starting out in makeup or anything, or anything like that, or, like, getting to know makeup better, um... I love LA Colors, but a lot of their products are just hit or miss. Like, their matte lip glosses, I would say, is a complete no-go. They're way too drying, and they're way too hard to get off, and they're really sticky until they completely dry down. So, I would say just completely avoid those, but their lipsticks, especially, like, their lip duos, they're amazing. They're wonderful. Um... So that's a dollar store brand that I really like. And then Wet n Wild, they're really good. You can find them pretty much at any drugstore. They are at Family Dollar as well. I feel like they are more on the cheaper end, but they can get a bit expensive as well. Um, They just had like a gothic unicorn thing come out, and I'm really wanting it. And I'm really wanting to try it out. But it is a bit expensive. Um, Maybelline. They're amazing. Maybelline. Hi, Blue Blue. Maybelline. I mean, I have no words. They're awesome. I gotta pop my back. Sorry. Hi, Blue Blues. I got a cap. Um, but they truly are amazing. It's the foundation I'm using right now, and it is... I mean, it's not... I'm dropping my beauty blender. Things are closing. It's not perfect, but... I don't know how a foundation can be both mattifying and dewy. And hi, Blue Blues. Hi. You're so cute. Anyways. Um, but yeah, their products are amazing. Especially their, where is it? It's the concealer that I'm actually going to use right now. My favorite concealer of all time, that's my eyeliner, is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Ivory, and it's an amazing shade, and I also have the powder that goes with it. I'm wanting to get a lighter version of this. This is in pure beige as a foundation powder, but I'm wanting to get a lighter one as a setting powder, or a pressed setting powder. I have the blues. Good boy. Um, my favorite food. I feel like my favorite food, I love fruit. I love fruit, but I feel like my favorite food would have to be fried bananas and corn. I love fried bananas and I love corn, especially elotes. Like whenever I worked at Jack's Chicken Shack, hi baby, I was making elotes constantly. You know, I'm trying to do my makeup and you're making it kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, there's cat hair everywhere now. But yeah, least favorite food, I hate corn dogs and mushroom. Like, corn dogs and mushrooms are so bad. They're so horrible. I bet my fiance's in there, like, asleep right now. 
even though we're supposed to be staying up, but oh well. Dude, I'm trying to do my makeup. Go away. I'm gonna take this down the center of my nose just a little bit, and also right here, even though I didn't think I really needed that. Stop that. And also fish. I hate fish with a passion. It's really hard to get me to eat fish, try fish, whatever. I mean, I really hate fish. Something I have noticed about this concealer though is I can't tell if it's the concealer or the powder that I've been using to set it. I think it's the powder, but it creases really bad. You ate fish too? Yeah, I cannot stand fish. Um, something I have noticed about the foundation is it's really hard to blend down the neck. Um, but yeah, my nose itches. I'm going to use powder now. I use the Dry Real Techniques Beauty Sponge for powder. I'm going to go into the banana shade once again and just dip into it a little bit. But I use a dry beauty blender to apply that because I feel like, yeah, it is a little bit drying, but I feel like it does a lot better. It ensures that it's actually setting and it's not just going to sit on top of I feel like it's actually pressing into the foundation and setting anyways yeah I enjoy doing that I guess that was weird I'm going to take the same brush that I used the foundation for and I'm going to go over a little bit and then I'm going to take the wet beauty sponge and press in to hydrate that a little bit more since the powder is actually pressed in in the makeup is set, I can hydrate it now. You see, I feel like it's just creasing really bad. It always does that. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to take the Wet in Wild, actually, no, I lied. It's the Maybelline Master Contour stick in light. It's pretty much the cream stick version of this palette. Two separate brands though. There's concealer and then contour. And then for contour, I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones a little bit. And then I put it lightly on my forehead. I never go in with the forehead too much. My favorite YouTuber is The Odd Ones Out. He is hilarious and I love him. But yeah, definitely The Odd Ones Out. Oh, no, my fiance's awake. <laughs> um, if I had to choose a second favorite YouTuber, hold on, let me blend this out. Okay. If I had to choose a second favorite YouTuber, it would probably have to be Markiplier, to be honest. I love Markiplier. He is fucking hilarious. That are like Daz Games. Daz Games, I... Ah, uh, him and Markiplier are like head to head. Um, somebody I can't stand, though, and it's not really just because, like, I love his personality, and I love who he is, and whenever I see any, like, this is not really bad, but whenever I see, like, any controversy or anything in what he posts, I always click on it because I honestly agree with most of his opinions, and I, I really like who he is as a person, but when it comes to his content, like, pretty much anything else that he posts, I think it's so shit, and his opening, like, it's PewDiePie. I cannot stand that. It always annoys me. And so as far as, I guess I'm not like a true fan or anything. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a fan, but 
Um, what now? What do I do next? Set, set everything. That's a thing. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take this, this thing, and I'm going to get the foundation and the contour stuff out of my hair. My fiance is in there cussing, if you can hear him. I'm actually going to spray this black part right here. And it's going to help. Um... I feel like Ariel right now. I've had a few people ask where I'm working now. And I don't have another job yet. But I am trying for Home Depot and Waffle House. And I'm pretty sure I've got them both, to be honest. Ow, that hurt. Is it cold where you live? I still live in Texas. <laughs> um, I just live like... 30 minutes away from Arlington, but yeah, right now, right this second, it's fucking freezing, like, what, where's my phone, I don't know where my phone is, every time I turn around, I'm losing something, and, damn it, I don't know where my phone is, yes, I do, but it's all the way up there, and I, like, it's over there. I don't want to get up and get it. <laughs> um. But yeah, I have 200 and. Mm, sorry. I have 219 days until I walk down the aisle. I've had a few people also ask, um, if they're getting invitations. And if you want an invitation and you're and you have a feeling that you're not on the guest list, but to ensure that you will get an invitation, um, email the email Mitchell May Wedding Day at gmail.com. Here, I'll go ahead and put it into the comments real quick. But to ensure that you get an invite. If you want to come, if you have a feeling that you might be able to come, then email us there and we will respond or make sure that you get an invite. And do note that we are making all the invites ourselves. And if you have a feeling that you're not going to come and you just want an invite, don't do that because that pisses me off. And I've had a few people be like, well, I might not be able to come. I'm like, then you're not getting an invite. Um, my dream job musician or a youtuber actually i'm taking veterinarian courses right now and i'm happy because i'm gonna be a veterinarian um but other than that if that wasn't a thing then actually no this doesn't sound really stupid but probably farmer because i love animals and living out on farm in the country but it would only look out only farm for us i might actually you know i i feel like I don't know. I, I would love to be a farmer. I would love to be a farmer. Look at my hair now. Look look how crazy it is. Anyways, um, I'm cleaning up all the foundation out of my hair. Um, if you do this with a hair dryer on your hair, then you can straighten your hair, and I think that's really cool and really time-consuming, and I hate that, because I just kind of, like, straightened this a little bit. No, I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, um, what do I do next? I should have set my skin more. <laughs> like, before I got to talking, I should have done that. I'm gonna take... The powder I was talking about, the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder in the shade Pure Beige. Take my big wet and wild fluffy brush to make some swirlies, and I'm actually going to use the mirror in it. 
and I'm going to press that in my skin and then swirl it around. I feel like when I press it on my skin, it makes it way too dark and like just way too heavy. And then there's also some splotches, like patchy spots. Um, I guess I'm gonna read some questions off of Quotes and stuff, which means I've gotta get up and grab my phone. So I'm done with the powder, but I'm just going to keep blending. So if you want to ask some more questions, then go ahead. But I'm also going to get my phone and answer some questions. I love it when you guys ask me questions, so come on. Yeah, my mom texted me. Anyways, plan on wasting in your wedding. What? How much money do you plan on wasting in your wedding? Um, well, I mean, for one, I'm not trying to come off rude or anything, but also, it's not a waste. But we were originally wanting to pour in, like, 8000 And then realized we don't have that money. So... Probably 2000 and then our honeymoon, we're going to be spending a bit more. Hi, Blue Blues. Do you want outside that badly? Here, I'll open the window. There. It is a bit brighter in here now, but he gets to see outside. And if that makes him happy, it's fine. <laughs> it's fucking cold now. It is actually 39 degrees outside. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I'm just, we've had quite a few people not dig us seriously or, um, you know, try to change our minds or tell us that we're making a mistake or we're wasting our money or whatever. And I mean, to those people, I just kind of say, like, why do you care so much? But also, if you do care that much, then you would know that we this is something we really want to do. And we're going to do whether or not you want us to or not. So, um, Anyways, it's fucking freezing outside, but it's also only 9.48, so it's almost, it's almost 10 a.m., so I'm probably going to make some coffee and, I don't know, French toast, and go sit down with my fiance and plan the wedding a bit more, probably, probably read and probably play some video games. We might live stream on you now. So if you want to see that, then yeah. <laughs> okay, so after blending and blending and blending that much, I take that beauty blender again and I wet it again. holding a lot of water right now like to the point where it is pretty much just leaking water and before I squeeze it out or anything I'm just going to bounce it on my face that way I get I mean I don't know why I do this I've never seen anyone do this but I do it 
Well, I guess I do know why I do it. I have really dry skin, and this really helps it not to get so dried out by the makeup and the powders and stuff, especially the powders and the foundation and everything dying, drying down. And so, I mean, I do take a lot of precautions to make sure that my skin doesn't get dried out, but it looks really dry and cakey if I don't do this. And I also like shave all the little peach fuzz like baby hairs off of my face. That way my foundation comes out like flawless. And it's still not gonna come out flawless like at all. If your foundation is not flawless, don't worry. I mean there are some like tips and tricks that you can do to make it better. But I guarantee you, like it is never going to come out perfect. Never. And if it does, congratulations, Nikki Tutorials. You found like you figured it out, but wait on the rest of the human race, please. Thank you. I'm taking the same brush and just kind of swirling in a bit and pressing into my skin. Sometimes I just let it dry on my skin, but I'm doing this to make it dry quicker so that I can apply the rest of the stuff without it being too pigmented. After doing that, I'm taking a contouring brush in that same palette, but this time I am using this shade. And I'm just gonna kind of go and do that twice, tap it off, and then contour my cheekbones. The library is closed today, so we can't go to the library. If we were to get schoolwork done, we'd have to do it on the laptop. And my contour is there on the side now. And... Um... Yeah, pretty much we can't go to the library today, but we might go to Walmart and Home Depot, and we still do bike everywhere, so that is something that, to keep in mind, is that it is freezing outside and we're biking everywhere, so, but we are wanting to get our own apartment before we get our own car or anything, so. Oh, I miss you guys, too. Um, I know after not uploading in a while, I've gotten a lot of requests to upload more. But I, just with everything going on, it takes a lot to plan a wedding. And a lot of realizations had to be made. And for us to make those realizations... And I'm contouring my nose now, which is like a very serious thing. Um, I'm switching brushes. That's how serious it is. Off contouring brush. Yeah. But, um, yeah. A, a lot of realizations had to be made. Um, I, I know you guys know that I had like a miscarriage before with an ex and yeah but and I think I made like one video about it and, and mentioned something about it and just said that you know I would talk more about it in the future when I was, whenever I was ready and comfortable but I don't think right now is that time and I have gotten quite a few questions about that and if that's why I disappeared or anything and like I said, that's not something that I would like to talk about right now, and it is not, I will say that yes, it is one of the reasons, but it is not the reason, and you know, the first one, you know, she was named, and she has her own song, and so like every time we hear the song, you know, we think of her, and 
he's chasing something. Good job. What are you doing? What do you see? Blue. I think he sees a bird or something like flying back. And will you be recording your wedding? Actually, we're trying to find somebody who will, will like, for our photographer and everything, we're just going to have our family record and take pictures because we already know that they're going to. And we're going to have, like, a competition to see who can take the best pictures. And those are the pictures that we will edit and use. But I am going to make a YouTube video about the wedding. And that's something I'm really worried about, is doing that. So I think we're just going to have to set up videos for it. Or, I don't know. We don't really have friends. So, especially not even any friends that have, like, that skill. If so, will you post it? Yes. Yes, I will. I will be making a whole vlog and edit, like, edited video and everything about it. I think my nose is done, you guys. I'm just kind of going hard on the nose contour. Anyways. Um, I'm taking... Where is it? Oh my god, fuck. I'm taking this brush. If you remember at the beginning of the video, we used this to conceal our eyebrows and everything. So, have you done your finances makeup? Fiance's, my fiance's makeup? Yes, several times. Um, I'm putting this palette away now. I have, actually, no, I'm not. I still need that. Mm -hmm. Taking the banana powder with the wet brush, which helps a lot, by the way. And cleaning up my contour a bit. Anyways, I have done his makeup several times. And yeah, I do his eyebrows. You know, I do his, I do most of his hair removal. I cut his hair for him. So, that's also a thing. I cut a lot of people's hair. So, yeah. I cut his hair for him. I do his eyebrows. I do most of his body hair removal and stuff like that. It's not something that he's, like, not okay with or anything either. He's very much, as long as he's got some sort of entertainment or anything, then he's pretty much good to go. And for my wedding, I am going to be doing my own makeup. I'm not going to be hiring anybody, but I am trying to find somebody that's going to do my hair. Because I know nothing about hair. Couple goals, the trust, though. <laughs> um, I've had quite a lot, like, a lot of people actually tell us that we are goals and shit like that, and, I mean, a lot of times I don't get it, and then other times I'm just, like, proud of it, I'm like, oh, look at us, I'm gonna wet my brush to highlight, actually, I'm gonna blush today, you guys, ow, that hurts, um, Actually, I think I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to take this blush right here, which they say is the highlighter, but it is very pink. Here, I will, well, it's very peachy. I don't know if you can see, like, the slight orange, and then the one next to it is the blush, and then the one next to that is the bronzer, so you have highlighter, blush, bronzer taking the little highlighter thing as a blush. I think here in a minute I will show you guys some pictures of us. But here pretty soon we're going to be taking some engagement photos. Which we're pretty excited about. Sorry. Um, yes, okay. Now, now I'm wetting the brush for highlighter. If I can find where the fuck I put the brush. 
you know, guys, I'm good at remembering where I put things. I'm awesome at this. I found it. Also, as a highlighter, I'm going to be using the Milani. I've used it so much that the top is run down. It's my only Milani one, and I wish I had more because they're amazing. And I wish they had a more pink one or a blue one or a purple one or whatever. But so far, I haven't seen one. That was a Fiat. And this is the Sun Glow Luminance it's Strobe Light thing. It's a highlighter by Milani, and it's amazing. I'm going to use this Estee Lauder brush. It's an old-ass brush. It's a crusty, dusty. <laughs> and I'm dropping things. I'm going to wet it a little bit. I'm going to wet it quite a lot. And I'm going to fan it a little bit, too. And although I have used this a lot, I go along with the pattern, so it's still there. So if you really like a pattern in something, go around it or along with it. And I promise you it'll stay there. I've had this for about a year now. Oh my god, that the whole wetting the brush trick doesn't work. Or it's at least not working for me. I'm going to try and dry it off a bit more. Wetting the skin, though, and then doing your highlighter, that works for me. What hair look are you going for? Um, Originally, I, was just, I have natural waves, so I was originally just going to wash my hair and then walk down the aisle like after it dries. And then, yeah, no, this is not working for me. I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender. And I was originally just going to do that. But then I got, for one, Drew wants me to wear a veil. I don't really want to wear a veil that much, but I'm kind of being, like, tricked into it. Um, but, yeah. It it kind of calms me knowing that I only have to have something in my hair for a short amount of time. I don't have to wear it for the reception or anything. And yeah, I I don't like having things in my hair. And yeah, so pretty much. I'm gonna blend out this fucking nose contour a bit more because this is really harsh. But then the other half of me is like, no, you know, it's your wedding day. You never have your hair up or anything. Have it up for a veil and this and that. And I was like, I was just going to wear a fucking flower crown or like a cat ear headband or something and walk down the aisle like that. But I guess not. Everyone wants to get pissy. I meant that as a joke, not as like actually people getting pissy about it. I mean... I've had a person here or there. I'm cleaning up the contour. I've had a person here or there get a little, or like actually, I've had quite a few people get pissed off about certain decisions that we've made and things that we wanted at our wedding. But not really anybody that has actually, well, I've had a few people a few times um, get a little irritated with things that we've chosen. But other than that, people that actually support us getting married haven't. Yeah. I think probably maybe, like, his father has gotten a bit pissed. Like, he's he wasn't okay that I was having, that we're having a November wedding. Because we really, really want an outside wedding. But because the church is doing it for free, we're going with them. Um... We're not going to get to have the outside wedding that we want. So, yeah. That's quite a bit of a bummer, but we're going to get some engagement photos taken outside, and we're going to actually set up a shoot with my best friend Loki to do our some wedding pictures outside as well. And we're not going on our honeymoon until next year, this time next year, whenever it's warmer. So we're going to be here for about another, like, six months after our wedding before we go on our honeymoon which I think is okay my mom's talking about like going with us and taking my little sister and only staying for like a week because we're wanting to be out there for like a month I think we're gonna go to Disney World and then San Antonio and I'm really excited like I feel like he's really excited too I feel like this is the number one thing that he's actually getting excited about when it comes to the wedding besides you know actually getting married but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to be taking that little um, concealer brush again. And in the same New York, New York color palette, the NYC palette, I'm going to take that white highlighting shade. 
I'm just going to take it like on the tip of my brush, just the tiniest little bit. And I'm going to use that as an eyebrow highlight. But it is like drastically different from the one that I used on the rest of my face, so I'm kind of scared. Anyways, I blended it in. You know what? It doesn't look bad, like, at all. The true test, though, is when I go in more sunlight and look at myself. And, I mean, there is kind of, like, a little bit of a color difference from my face to my neck. But I can always blend that out and fix it. I'm also going to take it into the inner corners of my eye and go just a bit drastic with that because we have like no shimmer in our eye and that's what we're wanting is a bit more out there sparkly. Um, you didn't comment again. I think for the end of this video, this two hour fucking stream, I'm going to answer some questions, and then move on. And, like, stop streaming. Although, I am about to stream again, and it's going to be a cooking stream, because I'm wanting to do, like, cooking videos on my channel. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I'm pretty psyched for it. I also have some other things coming, but that's after the wedding. I think we're thinking about merch and stuff right now. But I'm going to wait until I get to about a 1,000. So, what time? Um, it is 10.06 right now, so I think as soon as I'm done with my makeup, I'm actually going to skip the Q&A in this live stream. In this live stream at about, like, a minute, or an hour and 50 minutes, so in about 8 to 9 more minutes. And then I'm going to immediately, pretty much, like, start again. And I'm going to get my, I'm, well, I'm going to go change, and I'm going to get my things together, and then start. So, yeah. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna go get a lipstick. So, actually, I'm not done yet. I'm not wanting to do a lot of, I just cut the shit out of my finger. I'm not wanting to do a lot of eyeliner, but I always do a lot in the waterline though. Um, but this is a Maybelline Master Precise Eyeshadow, and I mean eyeshadow, eyeliner in black by Eye Studio. It is a felt tip, and it is amazing. I mean, it, it is pretty, pretty damn awesome. And for eyeliner, I'm going to do probably just a little simple wing. And I'm not going to take it all the way to my inner corner. I'm going to take it probably about mid-eye. I like close to my inner corner, but not quite there. Like I could take it there and it would be a perfect inner corner, like a perfect full eyeliner, but yeah, this is not turning out the best. Having to make it longer than I actually want to because the end like squiggled and it turned out right. Yeah, that's pretty much done. And then because I have blonde eyelashes, it's kind of difficult for me to get my mascara all the way to the root. So I take my eyeliner and I pre I'm kind of tight lining my eye right now. To add some more like darkness to it. What cake flavor do y'all want for your wedding cake? We're going with a lemon blueberry poppy seed wedding cake, and then we're going to have strawberry cream cheese filled cupcakes as well. We're pretty excited. We're making it ourselves. Well, we're having his mom and his grandmother help, and if that doesn't work out, I think I'm going to try and make it first, and because I have this vision in my head of what I want, and me and him have talked about it, we've agreed on it, I'm making the cupcakes though. Thank you. I it it took a lot of practice. 
I'm making the cupcakes, so, um, sorry, I'm, like, concentrating, um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try, and I just fucked up, you know, I'm gonna have to be quiet for a second while I do this. Okay, this one's also, like, drawn out, but it's not as good as the other one. And I'm trying to make it better and, like, fix it, but I think this is as good as it's going to get. And that kind of upsets me. But, oh well. I forgot to tight line this one. If you don't like weird faces while you're doing your makeup, then we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Um, I'm now going to use another eyeliner. Where the hell is this one? Though? It's gone. It's missing. It is missing from action. Missing in action. Sorry. I think so. I think that's how you say that. Okay, for real though, my eyeliner is usually fucking gone. Okay, yeah, it's gone. Okay, dude, what the fuck? Oh, that's why. It's not in where it's supposed to be. It fell out. Okay, I'm using, I don't even know who the fuck this is by anymore because everything is taken off of it. But it's like this, like, eyeshadow. They're both eyeshadows, but I use it as an eyeliner. I don't use the pink side anymore, but it is called pink and purple rain if you can figure out what brand it's by i'm probably i think it's by either hard candy or maybelline i'm not sure but i'm going to use the dark purple side for waterline and there we go And that makes my eye stand out a bit more. And then after that, I use my little death contraption. And I usually wet it. Where's my setting spray? This is a setting spray by Ash Cosmetics, by the way. So if you're interested, I have an Instagram for my makeup brand. We're not producing any new products right now, so... Unless you specifically, like, get it custom made. And to do that, just message us and ask us to do so. And we will talk to you and decide whether or not that's within what we're doing right now. But right now, we're kind of just selling our old products. And not, like, our old products, but what we already have. My Instagram is... Well, here. My Instagram... Like, my personal Instagram is that, and then if you go on to that, I should have, like, post where I'm linking my Ash Cosmetics one, and then Pookie has his own, and then, yeah. Anyways. Um, next, after doing that, I do my mascara. 
about to do my mascara. I'm a bit weird when it comes to my mascara, so I'm going to do my bottom lashes first. That way, while I'm waiting for my top ones to dry, I don't go do go to do the bottom ones and look up and get it all get it everywhere. So this is an LA Colors one. I think it came in like a, a set with other stuff. I think it was like a five dollar set. It smells like green apples and chemicals. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing or what. If it's anything at all, but I do my lower lashes. And then before I move on, I make sure that they look okay. So I move them around, add more where there needs to be more. This one kind of got like jacked up, so I think I'm going to have to take like a clean spoolie and fix it. And to do that, I'm just going to take this again. I'm going to take the clear side. And then take the black side. And hope that looks okay. Ow, that hurt. And then I'm going to do my top lashes. And I do the same thing with them. If you experienced any paranormal activity or your family had experience, yes, actually. Um, I used to not believe in ghosts or any like paranormal things whenever I was younger, and then I, I wouldn't say that like drastically, like any life changing interactions or anything. I haven't had any like real interactions, but a lot of my family has, and I've had a few. But they're not anything that I would actually, like, share and talk about. Just because that is something that, like, if you talk about it, it a lot of people are just like, oh, you're crazy. So I'd rather just not getting it, get into that. I mean, if you guys actually really do want to see a video on that, then let me know. But other than that, probably not. I probably want to make a video on it. Um... Yeah, I think that's good. I'm actually going to go run and get a, um, a lipstick right now. So. I'm going to use my shirt to, like, wipe off the foundation that I have on my lips. Put on a chapstick. Also, Ash Cosmetics is selling um, lip scrubs, and we make those, like, custom-made, like, every week. So, if you want to go and check out the new flavors and shit, I've had those up for a while. So, I can always just make a whole new batch, and if you want to go check them out, they're only, like, $2 each, and you get quite a lot in there. So, yeah, and they're all 100% edible. It's mostly either you can get, like, salty ones, you can get sugar ones, you can get just regular not scrubs, but, like, just regular wax ones, not wax, honey ones, and stuff like that, so, do you prefer matte, sheer, gloss, basically, what's your favorite type of lipstick, um, I think matte looks really pretty, but I do prefer gloss, and pretty much, um, or I prefer something that's very dewy, something that doesn't dry down, that is very glossy, but not, I do prefer lipstick, like, regular lipstick, um, maybe not lip gloss, especially not it with how sticky it usually tends to be, and maybe not a liquid lipstick or anything like that. I do prefer something that kind of dries down, but not, is, isn't too drying, but anyways. I'm gonna go figure out what I'm wanting to use right now, so I'll be right back. I've got to put something there to keep this open, so...
Okay, I'm back. These are two of my favorite brands that I get lipstick and stuff by are from. This is Milani, the same highlighter I'm wearing. This is Koki. That's the only thing I have by them are their liquid lipsticks, but I have a lot of them. And yeah, so I'm actually going to start off with the Milani one. I They have their own section, so does Koki in my thing. And yeah, I have plenty of both. This is their Matte Innocence one. The matte ones have this scent. This one is a very nudey, like, well, a very peach nude. It doesn't really add much life to it. I like kind of peach like bare nudes with a little bit of pink. But this is kind of just like a plain one. But it smells amazing. The formula is really creamy and it's amazing. But I like wearing the I have really dry lips right now. I'm peeling skin, but I like wearing the Milani lipsticks underneath the Koki Kissable Liquid lipsticks because these smell very chemical, but not too, too bad. Do you like ombre lipstick look? Yeah, I've done several. You can actually see some of mine. If you go and look, like, look up some like lipstick tutorial stuff, like compilations and shit, I'm on there. I'm on a few of them. But I like wearing the, I did not need to dip again. Like, you can get these in one, one dip. The application, the applicators are amazing, like the, do, the DOFAs. They are very full coverage. I hate that like awkward silence whenever somebody's putting on lipstick. I am also like really, really bad at lipstick, but I do like wearing the Milani lipsticks underneath the Koki ones because I will admit that the Koki ones can get a little bit drying sometimes, especially if you wear them for a little a long time. Which I wore a red one there, which is the first one I had by them, but it's called Unstoppable. And if you can find it at Walmart, it is like eight or nine dollars. And it is amazing. I mean, it is amazing. I mean, I'm. It was, might be a little bit TMI, but we had made out several times. We went on a bike ride, like way across town. We went to Golden Corral and spent like hours and hours there eating. 
and by the time we left and got home and everything, we went to the mall and everything after that, and just, like, that lipstick was on there, like, 12 or 13 hours later, and it was amazing. These lipsticks are amazing. I will say that the Milani ones, you do have to apply, reapply it, like, I want to say, like, every two hours or so. Now, the, the Kofi ones can get some, some patchy spots after a while of wearing them. I feel like this is the best, best time to stop. But the Milani underneath the Koki, the Koki's still gonna dry, and I'm just gonna put them both into the, into my makeup box right now. But, I didn't mess up, I'm just, there's a little bit of build up of product on the edges. And so I'm kind of just dabbing those off. And I'm going to get up close with you in a minute. But anyways, um, where are you going to be cooking on your live? On here. On YouTube. So if you just give it a few minutes, I will be right back on. Um... This is how the lipstick turned out, and how the makeup turned out, and I really like it. I enjoy it. I think it's cute. I think it's really pretty. It's a look I would wear a lot. Um, hi, Booker. You want to come help me? Help me do my outro? You're going to growl. I know. Hi. Okay. Anyways, um, what am I going to be cooking on my life? Um, I think just French toast or something. I'm probably just going to talk. Hi, what are you doing? Do you see yourself? Is it freaking you out? Blue. Look how big he is. Okay, hold on, child. Yes, I know. You're, you're seeing yourself. You're getting excited, but you need to... Look how... Yes, I know you're going to growl. He sees himself, and he's freaking out. Look. 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 That's you. No? Not amused anymore? Okay. No, you can't step over the laptop. You need to stop. Stop it. You're doing too much. Yes, I love you too. Asshole. Anyways, this is how the makeup turned out. I really like it. It's really pretty to me. Boop. Boop. Okay. Be a good boy. And yeah. I don't really see anybody recreating this, especially it took me two hours to do it, but it's here now. <laughs> photos oh thanks i know they're pretty aren't they anyways um yeah that's really all i'm gonna go get dressed and kind of freshen up a little bit and then i will be back in the kitchen in a few minutes if i decide not to live stream for some reason which i'm kind of deciding right now that i don't want to um it's mainly just because it is 10 30 in the morning and a lot of people are asleep right now and I don't want to talk so loud, especially in the kitchen. The, vocal, the acoustics are, like, amazing. And, yeah. And my fiancé really doesn't want to, like, get up and go do stuff. And I kind of want him in there to help me. And especially because I'd be cooking for both of us. And, you know, it looks good on camera. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go do something else. I'm probably not going to live stream anymore. I'm kind of done. I'm tired. Uh, I have stuff to go get done. So, it is... Where's my phone? I have to charge my phone, like, bad. Oh, no, I don't. It's at 78. Anyways, um, I need to put my ring back on. It almost fell behind the couch. If you're wanting to see the ring, this is it. So, I like it a lot. Um, my grandmother gave it to me as a gift, so... Anyways, I'm going to take a picture for Snapchat real quick. If you want my Snapchat, it is that. And yeah, so if you want to see actually in better quality how the makeup look turned out, then go check it out. I do admit my, my eyebrows need to be just a little bit darker. But yeah, it 
it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Flora, for commenting and staying tuned and walking me through this. And yeah, I haven't seen you guys in a while. I'm probably gonna see you guys on Monday or Tuesday. So thanks for watching, and I'm gonna be uploading a lot more. There's still gonna be a video of me and my fiance announcing our engagement for anybody who doesn't want to sit through the two hour long video. So yeah, so stay tuned for that, and we will talk more about it. And in that video, we're gonna be putting links to our registries and our wedding website, which has our save the date pictures of us, if you want to look at pictures of us and everything else, and where to RSVP or where to email us, what hashtag to use if you want to post a picture of us or whatever. That way we can find it, and that would be the hashtag also used at our wedding, where if you take a picture of us, you can post it right there, and we can look at it. I, I feel like I don't have to explain this. Anyways, um, thank you for watching, and I will be uploading more. Thanks. Bye. As soon as I, like, get my mouse to work.